This is uh, what I'm making right now. I try to boost the sound. The volume level. There. So um, I'm going to lock it. It's locked. What I'm doing is I'm taking this video and this video. Now they both look like two different videos, but mind you, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm taking the same video. These are both the same video. They're 10 hours long, except this top player is playing it exactly backwards. That's a negative one, so it's going backwards at a speed. Negative one. This one, the same video, is going forwards at a speed of one. Um, I can change the speed some. I can change positioning some. Uh, I'll change positioning. There we go. I'm changing the position of that in the video, in the 10 hour video. Um, try it. It's frozen. It should, it should clear up, you know, when it refreshes. This is the resulting video, these two recordings. Um, they record in a metronome style. So in other words, it's either this one is on and that one is off, or this one is on and that one is off. And it goes back and forth between them. And let's see how long. For um, this length, it looks like 30 minutes which is really 1800 and point zero zero zero. The three zeros at the end are the thousandth of a second. So this is really um, recording there and there for um, 1800 seconds. 1800 seconds is 30 minutes. Yay. Um, I set that up. Now these these little doohickeys are, this is a metronome, and it's going for three seconds, point two two two. And so this is controlling, actually, it's controlling that, this, this one. It's turning it on and off every three seconds. So this, this effect, called mapper, is taking effect, and it's being altered, but it takes effect for three minutes on three minutes off and it alters the whole uh, thing this these this one is uh, going to where where is that going who knows but these up here they're also being altered now I turned kaleidoscope totally off because I don't like the effect of kaleidoscope but I have it here anyway um, just in case I want to drop into uh, a kaleidoscope effect. Now I clicked it on and this will change into a kaleidoscope. You see that's a kaleidoscope effect. Ah, whatever. Um, it, it, it's not really reacting that fast because I got both recording this and making the new video, playing two videos, one forward, one backwards. And these little at tracks things are uh, changing the value from zero to one back and forth at this rate I'll change the rate a little and make it slower so it changes these these uh, settings on this in a slower fashion now this I can increase this I can increase but I found it better around one um, Technicolor, um, the amount, it's just going on and off as well, but we go to Technicolor 1, Technicolor 2, uh, that's being controlled. This, on the other hand, is not the multi-tracker 8 thing, multi, mult, mutilate, uh, who knows. Um, it inverts, and I can change that to an invert. Um, these are settings, the red multiply, green multiply, blue multiply, are changing based on these um, outputs. Each one of these are about the same, just different values, but at this rate, at this actual rate, and I have them all set at different, mostly different rates. Um, 
Yeah, change that range. Um, this is the music going on from the video. One is forward music, one is backwards music, and this playlist at the same time. This visual is showing the volume of the playlist. It, it's uh, both. Uh, it's like an oscilloscope, but in both directions. I'm going to turn off one of these. I gotta unlock it. I'm gonna turn off one. Of, this is the whole thing. This is the volume of everything. And this is the right volume, and then the left volume. This is just the left volume. That's the the, the shape of the left left volume of everything. I'm gonna connect up the right volume. And that's the right volume and the left volume together and then this is just the right volume up and down so when you mix them they add together the two the two waves um, from the left volume and the right volume they mix and there it's back to the center thing bounces out and everything obviously the uh, audio files here are quite soft. I don't know why they're so soft. I've been looking to increase their volume. Let's try this one. That one's louder. That one is louder, making a louder sound. I have the, the playlist of songs, these are songs, wave files, playing, and then this is the contraption that makes it shuffle, the shuffle effect, that they program the shuffle effect. And then these, these are different times, 6 seconds, 0.599, for this fold. And what Fold does is it basically folds the visual coming out of here into that. Now the visuals, actually the visual coming out of there goes through and through. Now the visual here goes straight out to the visual mixer, the video mixer. We got video one and video two. Video one here goes through all these different effects and then comes out into video two. Now I can change it and then video one is just that effect. So if I go to only video one by that, then we're only gonna see this one. And if I go to only video two, we're only gonna see this one. Now this one, mind you, is going through all these effects, so it will pretty weird and it hasn't changed yet and it, it just hasn't changed yet it's not keeping up but it makes the video nonetheless there we go maybe no it might be the setting who knows but I, I try to do this it, it works mostly mostly it works these settings I'm going to leave it at that. Now I can stop it from turning on and off like this. Just by clicking one of these X boxes, which is a toggle. Either it's on or it's off. So when this is on, it makes the metro count four and a half seconds. And then it turns this on, this toggle on, which turns the rotator on or off. The rotator is on now. And then we'll turn off and there it's off again and, and the same yeah they all doing that for the effects and everything yep 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 and there's the sound we're getting now I don't have to have these playing at exactly you know want speed one I can go slower and I can go slower backwards and I just did gone, have gone slower in both directions with both videos have slowed down. This is only 0.78 speed. This is 0.75 speed. And they just jam in. 
and the, the audio is slowed down. So I have three audios. The audio from here, the audio from here, going into the mixer, and then I have the third audio stereo out going to the mixer three left and right from the playlist. I've yet to put the fourth audio in for the fourth playlist, but it'll happen. I'll, I'll eventually find a bunch of vid audio files that I want to put in there. I would might try another video file, but then, it's, then it gets too big. And I end up going down to like a smaller size like that. And, and then programming it. I gotta lock that. Locking it so I don't accidentally delete something. I can't delete things when I'm locked. Yeah, so it just keeps going. These are, this is the whole picture. Might get better to see it. 75%. No, we don't get the whole thing. So yeah, um, thanks, that was 11 minutes, wow.